Here at Bradley Ashton, we have developed a technique to capture high resolution whole fin section images, so I'll introduce you to it. This system uses automated microscopy equipment, precisely controlled through Image Pro Plus software. We capture a whole fin section by tiling together a series of photomicrographs. The resulting high resolution image presents an excellent overview of the entire fin section. This image can be very useful to create a permanent digital archive of the fin section collaborate effectively with partners and third parties, visualise heterogeneity in detail, and finally perform a variety of image analysis techniques. So, how does it work? The automated microscope stage is programmed for the details of the individual fin section and begins the capture process. At each pause, a series of digital photomicrographs of the current field of view are recorded through a predetermined focal range. The program will then choose the most in-focus photomicrograph. Typically the fin section is run twice, to image both polarised and cross-polarised lights, cross-polar being a full light extinguishment. Here you can see the compiled image being created on the fly. The output images are saved in versatile formats, uncompressed TIFF files for ultimate quality and JPEG for a greater degree of portability. Both formats are readable in any image, photo or office software package. The software employs an overlap technique called a guard frame to create virtually seamless transitions between photomicrographs. A key advantage of this process is the zoomable nature of the resulting image, illustrated here in a cross-polar example. Traditional fin section scanning techniques are unable to capture high resolution and the resulting images therefore aren't zoomable. Here's a couple of examples. On the left is a traditional flatbed scan, and then a high resolution or tiled image is on the right. Note the pixelation of the flatbed scan at even low zoom levels. The images retain the finely calibrated pixel to micron conversion data to allow the user to accurately measure objects on screen, as shown here with measurements of a long axis of a couple of grains and a pore space.